The University of Rochester hosted the Liberty League Outdoor Track and Field Championships on Friday and Saturday. In the men's competition, this was the 4x100 relay and the Yellow Jackets team of Aidit Jane, Mitchell Leinart, PJ London, and Manny Aribo just beat out Ithaca for first place. To the men's 110 hurdles, and Rochester's Peter Brodnick finished first in a time of 14.99 seconds. Then in the men's 800, U of R senior Scott Sikorsky came in first in a meet record time of 152.16. In the triple jump, the Yellow Jackets Cole Goodman was the winner. He also won the long jump and was named co-field performer of the meet. And Rochester's Alex Opsel, here in the pole vault, was the winner of the decathlon. In fact, the U of R swept the top three spots with Aiden Angeloni second and Gabe Tyne third. Overall, the men finished second just behind RPI. In the women's competition, the University of Rochester's Ashley Hefferton was the winner of the heptathlon. She had 4,642 points. In the women's 100 meters, this was the Yellow Jackets' Madeline O'Connell winning in a time of 12.21 seconds. The U of R took the top three positions in both the 200 and 400 meters, and Susan Bonsbach was the winner in both of those events and was named the track performer of the meet. And a key race in the 4 by 400 meters, and the Rochester team of Madeline O'Connell Kristen Hardy, Megan Bell, and Susan Bonsbach won it as the Yellow Jackets took the Women's Liberty League Outdoor Track and Field Championship. We've just been gunning uh, for outdoor because we knew that there was a target on our back and we just wanted to you know, protect our, our turf, Bobber, um, our home stadium. And I think that everyone gave it their like 110%. So I don't know, I was really happy with like how our team did. Talk about your time here. I know your your season's not over, but yeah. Um, honestly, this is probably what's made like my college college. Um, like all my friends are like on the team. Get to see them and race with them and like practice with them every single day. And I think like thinking thinking back and forward for the next few weeks. Hopefully, um, I should make as many memories as I possibly can. Talk about that. You and your teammates finishing well. And we all ended up PRing. Uh, I had a season best and. Um, Sam Lorenzetti had a lifetime best. Uh, Kyle Lane also had a lifetime best. So when you PR, when two people PR, there's not much you can really like hope for. You just hope that the other competition doesn't do as well, which unfortunately they did. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, as a team, like as a whole, I think we did really well. It's just RPI was just slightly better in our in this case. It was really, really exciting to to be, have a chance to host the Liberty League Championships, um, to have our women's team come out on top. Um, we knew that was going to be a really close competition with Ithaca. Um, we, we had so many athletes just elevate their performances this weekend and um, a great crowd of, of friends and family and teammates and alumni that were here cheering them on. And I think it really um, helped elevate the team's performances over the weekend. And, you know, the men, we, we came in hoping we'd be in contention to win the title. Um, we came up a little short on that. I told our guys a little while ago they had nothing to hang their heads about this weekend. Um, they, they went out and performed amazingly over both days of the championship. Um, unfortunately, you know, RPI came out just on top. We were really fortunate again. Uh, we had the men's field performer of the meet in Cole Goodman. Um, he broke our school record um, in the triple jump, was our longest standing school record from the early 70s. Um, you know, I think second in the nation right now in the triple jump. He had a top 10 in the nation mark in the long jump, um, won that event, was the field performer of the meet. Um, Scott Sikorsky won the 800, was second in the 1500 meters. Um, so we, again, we just had a lot of tremendous performances this weekend. Jordan Johnson, only a sophomore, won the javelin title for us yesterday. Um, he came in not even ranked in the top eight and he pulled a nice upset and won that javelin. Um, so again, guys really got some great contributions from the sprinters, the distance runners, the jumpers, multi-event guys, our decathletes. Um, you know, were, were incredible. So both Alex Opsall was the champion, Aiden Angeloni was the runner-up, 
Um, they both put up scores that should get them into the national championship meet in a few weeks. We had so many uh, women win individual championships. Um, we swept both relays, which you know is a, is a huge emphasis for us in our in our team um, in sort of team success and relays. But Susan Bonsbach was named the the women's track performers in the meet. Um, she won the 400, the 200, the 4x1, and the 4x4 relays. Um, Madeline O'Connell won the 100 meters, um, second in the 200 to Susan. Ran on both winning relays, scored second in the pole vault. Um, Ashley Heffernan had a, an amazing two days in the heptathlon. Won that event going away. Um, put up a huge score that should pre pretty much punch her ticket to the NCAA championships. Um, and she also ran on our winning four by one relay, um, scored for us in the hurdles. Um, Jillian Reeder and Cora Rose, um, both were individual champions in the throws for us. So, you know, we talk a lot about in our team, um, trying to be a well-balanced team. And I think to see our women's team win a championship with contributions from all different aspects of the team today was, was really rewarding and really exciting. Again, we, we were really proud of how both teams performed this weekend, and you know I think it was just really exciting for them to be able to compete in front of their you know their home fans, so to speak, here at Faber Stadium.